Right now, a look at a very different kind of case that came before the Arizona Supreme Court, impacting families facing dire financial challenges, filing for bankruptcy. 12 News investigative and consumer journalist Katie Wilcox spoke with one woman who never imagined filing for bankruptcy could leave her homeless. Katie? Yeah, Mark Caribe, bankruptcy is the last resort when debts are too much to handle, but we have laws that protect things like your home from debt collectors. Still, when this couple decided to sell their house and buy an RV, the Arizona Supreme Court had to decide whether or not an RV or motor home really counts as a home. Life on the road. You know, we each have our favorite state. It's unpredictable. Steve liked North Dakota the best. But for Mary and Steve Drummond. How many states do you think he saw? Oh my goodness. The surprises. We saw a lot. We're a part of the fun. It sounds like an incredible journey that you've taken. It was, it was really fun why it lasts. It didn't get to last. Barely two years after the couple sold their house and bought an RV to live in permanently. We got COVID ourselves. They got sick. We were both in ICU at the same time. He's on one end of the floor and I was on the other end. And struggled to pay the bills. On top of credit card debts, nearly $8,000 in medical bills left them feeling they had no other choice. In 2022, the Drummonds filed for bankruptcy never thinking they could lose their home, the motorhome. Yeah, so the Drummond case is a case that's been going for quite some time. Attorney Ken Neely is not involved in this case, but he became interested after the Arizona Supreme Court got involved. In the law, it says it protects a home or a mobile home, but it doesn't say motorhome. And so the question in this case was whether or not the motor home, which the Drummonds owned, was the same thing as a mobile home. Terry Dake is also a bankruptcy attorney in Arizona. It's a big deal because, you know, the, the legislature has always found it important to protect people's homesteads, you know, that they don't want people put out on the street by their inability to pay their debts. Dake is directly involved in this case, representing the trustee, who believed the RV should not be protected by the homestead exemption. The court agreed. I think they missed the entire point. For Mary, the decision came as a complete shock. Do you think of your RV as a vehicle or a home? It's a home. For Dake and his clients, the law wasn't so clear. And the court said it can't rewrite the law. It defers to the legislature to modify statute if lawmakers disagree with their interpretation. If the legislature doesn't like that, if they don't think it's appropriate, it's up to the legislature to make that change, not the court. Do you think the legislature will take this up? Absolutely. Uh, I'll intend to uh, introduce legislation in our next session, uh, pre probably with an emergency clause attached to it, to be responsive to the Supreme Court's decision. Arizona Representative Matt Gress, a Republican from Scottsdale. But at the end of the day, we're talking about someone's home. We have to have some recognition of the humanity involved in these terrible situations. Mary spoke with me over Zoom because she and Steve are now living with their daughter out of state. It's not fair. And just because you live in a in an RV doesn't mean you're homeless. It just means you're houseless. Without your RV, what is where does that leave you? Uh, out in the cold, living in our car. They are expected to surrender their RV. Right, and I spoke with Mary again this morning, and she said that she and Steve have turned over the keys to their attorneys. It sounds like someone's playing games with semantics, Katie. Just how many people does this Supreme Court ruling impact? Right. So, you know, nationwide, um, we can estimate that maybe 100 to 200,000 people live full time in their RVs. It's a relatively small community. But right now in Arizona, I'm told that there could be between five and six cases currently in front of um, in front of bankruptcy courts, all of people who right now live in their RVs, all of who could be facing homelessness themselves. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Sad. Terrible, terrible position to be in, that uncertainty. All right, Katie, thank you very much. And by the way, we first learned about this story from a viewer tip to connect at 12news.com. So if you have a story that you want our team to look into, you can send an email or you can text us at 602-444-1212.